A challenge in the cauldron train yard. Fine, Nigma. I'll play your games and I'll win. Selena's life depends on it. might encourage your participation? I realized, you see, that the kind of image-obsessed narcissist who places bat symbols on his hubcaps would never willingly submit himself to the kind of humiliation I have in store. Yet, here you are, detective. <laughs> the humiliation is waiting below. Detective, it begins. You are staring, <clears throat> with stupefied incomprehension, at a mechanism I have calibrated to respond to an extremely precise radar pulse. In a moment, I will give you the decrypted code, Dark Knight. Oh, but first, I think we should run through the ground rules for tonight's festivities. Rule the first. You will address me at all times as Riddler, the Riddler, or Mr. Nigma, sir. Otherwise, Detective, I expect your patented brand of churlish silence. Rule the second. All gauntlets, cowl-integrated microphones, and other communications devices, bat-themed or otherwise, are to be switched off prior to the start of the test. Should you be caught using any of these, you will be expelled from the course. Rule the third. The use of purpose-built riddle-solving equipment is strictly prohibited. I am familiar with the contents of your utility belt, Detective, and I will be evaluating any sudden additions over the course of this evening most suspiciously. Rule the fourth. In the event of fire or flood, I will be on hand to guide you to the nearest emergency exit. Assuming, that is, you are not too proud to follow my advice. <laughs> In that eventuality, we will consider your stubbornly prideful suicide an admission of defeat. Rule the fifth. Do not ask for clues. Rule the six. Should I, in my exasper... No point getting out. Riddler's plan involves the car. Solve tonight's very first riddle. <laughs> well done. Well done. Welcome to my racetrack, Detective. You must complete three circuits of this gauntlet, finishing each before the time limit expires. Expired. Expired. Come now, Detective. Let's put that grotesque ego-mobile to the test. Be ready, Dark Knight. There's more to this test than just going wrong, wrong, really fast. Detective Tick Tock. Can that ram shackled motor handle this? Failsafe. I need the extra speed. I'm shocked, Dark Knight. Is that really as fast as it goes? Let's work that undeveloped brain of yours.
attention, detective. Go left. Oh, detective, what's that I hear? Is it time's winged chariots hurrying near? You're close, detective. Don't fumble now. Don't, don't, don't fumble now. Detective, you stand marginally more of a chance of succeeding if you actually begin. Ah, oh, the sweet taste of someone else's failure. Faster next time, Detective, or you will fail again. Next time, Detective. If you can't understand the intellectual virtues of completing this trial, Batman, I'm not going to explain them to you. Faster, Batman! My Or if you prefer, that Roman knockoff Mercury. deal is over. <sighs> Such a pity the laws of physics prohibit me from testing my non-Euclidean designs. Now then, detective, hop on the pressure pad beside me. Listen carefully, Dark Knight. Your friend's life depends on it. Back in the orphanage, a series of glass cabinets have appeared in front of Catwoman. Isn't that right, my dear? I see them, Eddie. Good. One of those cabinets, my dear, has your first key inside. The others? They contain less useful keys. Keys that will unlock the admittedly slight contents of your skull all over the orphanage walls. Your job, detective, is simple. Figure out which cabinet Catwoman must open. And don't get it wrong. So most of them will kill me, one of them won't. Great, I can do this. Okay, Batman, let's see if you're as smart as they say. One down. Well, well done to the pair of you! That's the first key collected. Um, don't expect to be sinking your claws into too many more. More, more, more. too many more. that a challenge designed by me, the Riddler, would be quite so easy? Oh, Dark Knight, you sweet, naive Sentinel, of course it wouldn't. But now I have several hundred terabytes of performance data relating to the latest model of rocket-powered hearse you're driving. With that in mind, I have prepared for you something a little less knuckle-whitening and rather more brow-furrowing in Chinatown. Hurry on over, detective, or it won't be curiosity that kills the cat. Whatever Riddler's built beneath Chinatown, it's not going to stop me. Batman! He's got a friggin' tank! God! Come on, get us out of here!
humbling, isn't it? The opportunity to even glimpse my greatness, the dawning realization of just how insignificant, how unworthy of note you really are. Really? These trials are my masterpieces, Detective. When I have defeated you, they will become monuments to my genius. genius. Testaments to your stupidity. Crowds of school children will pack themselves in this elevator, eager to see for themselves the place where the Dark Knight was defeated. <sighs> they won't understand a thing, of course, but they'll come. Detective? Detective? You know, Dark Knight, on balance, I don't think you're going to figure this out. Just a test of intelligence, Dark Knight. It's a test of skill. Dark Knight, you've earned the right to play the next part of the puzzle. Head over to the board. Oh, 
Oh, joy. Time to play the Will My Head Explode game again. Riddle me this. What has a cape, a cowl, and can't be trusted not to get you killed? Better be right, Batman. Head still attached? Great. Collar still attached? Not so great. Congratulations! You've achieved the very minor victory of not being as stupid as you look. Not stupid as you look. Now, Catwoman, celebrate your survival by telling Batman all about the exciting orphanage development. About the celebrating orphanage development. No, you do it. Now, Kitty. Kitty. Why, Batman, there's a big mysterious green door. Yes, yes, there is. Come back to the orphanage, Batman, and I'll let the pair of you through it. <laughs> Catwoman, Cat this evening is not about you. Wait, 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 man, man, wait for man. man. I hope, be beginning to comprehend the breadth of the tasks ahead of you, the sheer scale of the gauntlet I have thrown down. Or perhaps not. Perhaps, perhaps you're feeling cocky. Perhaps, perhaps these early victories have filled you with early false hope. Well then, ride that wave of smug satisfaction all the way back to the orphanage. I'm waiting. Orphanage. Selene is still trapped in the orphanage. Nigma's got something in store for us both when I get there.
Welcome back to the Riddletorium. Do not fear. Your friend has not been harmed. Not been Before I allow you to see her, however, riddle me this. Riddle me this. What kind of question can only be asked upon reflection? Reflection. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck. You have earned the right to see your friend. See your friend. Why, she'll be as surprised as uh, I am that you've made it this far. They made it this far. Oh, good. You're back. Eddie wouldn't show me whatever deranged parlor game he's got waiting behind that door until you arrived. I'll get you out of here. I'm sorry. Do I seem testy? It's probably something to do with the gorgeous necklace Eddie picked out for me. Have you seen it? It explodes. Well, are you going into the room or what? What's the holdup? Did you come here to play one of Eddie's stupid games or not? Well, are you going into the room or what? What's the holdup? I do hope you two are getting along, you two. because you'll need to work together if you want to find the key hidden in here. Find the key. Well, this looks creepy. Someone's been reading Feng Shui for serial killers. Caller wasn't enough. Oh, Batman, Catwoman, neither of you is getting out of there without the other's help. I've got five switches in the world's most boring light show over here. You? Same. Oh, look. It's more of Eddie's homemade friends. <laughs> Your mockery is pointless, Cat. Well, there we go. It's settled. You're not quite as dumb as each other. Congratulations, Catwoman. Batman, you're lagging behind. I can barely describe to you what a pleasure it is to see your brow furrow over the simplest of conundrums. I do apologize for not creating a riddle that you can merely pound into submission. Here, why don't you take out your primitive frustrations on my automated assistant? Try and keep up. Oh. 
My programming animates these beautiful creations, Dark Knight. My engineering gave them dig. Not one of your absurd bat contractions is so brilliant. Don't feel left out. Every robot you defeat nearly provides more data for me to analyze, Dark Knight. Quite liberating to have freed myself from reliance on Gotham's ill-educated muscle, detective. detective. Prototypes, Dark Knight. These are merely prototypes. Well then, it seems you've earned another key. This is going to take all night, isn't it? Fun. At least I got to hit something. How are you holding up? I'm fine. I don't need your concern. Just your help getting this thing off. I wouldn't celebrate just yet, you two. Dark Knight, my next challenge can be found beneath Elliot Memorial Hospital. Elliot. Conveniently located for when you pass out due to mental exhaustion. Mental, mental, mental exhaustion. You still haven't apologized. For what? For Eddie treating me like a white hat. Like one of your sidekicks. You know, half the crooks in Gotham think I feed you info. You do? Well, yeah, when there's something in it for me. They think I'm doing it on principle. Sorry for making criminals think less of you. Hey, have I ever hurt anyone? I'm not one of the bad guys, Batman. I'm freelance. You should pick a side, Selina. Your side should pay better. Batman, the next tests are ready. And I really can't wait to play the Will My Head Explode game again. Look, Batman, I enjoy a smoldering stare as much as the next girl, but maybe you should be working on Eddie's glorified obstacle courses. Nice work so far, big guy. Just don't screw up the next part. Batman, the next tests are ready, and I really can't wait to play the Will My Head Explode game again. No, 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 kitty cat. Walk through there and there'll be a whole new set of paintings all over the orphanage walls. Look, Batman, I enjoy a smoldering stare as much as the next girl. But maybe you should be working on Eddie's glorified obstacle courses. Hey, Bats. When did Catwoman get so cute? Must have been when I started looking out of your eyes, hmm? You're gonna ask her out or what? Oh, you're not still torn up about Talia al Ghul, are you? Come on, it's been months. Even the worms that ate her corpse have probably forgotten about it by now. You're really gonna turn down this fine opportunity for romance just because I blew your last girlfriend's lungs out? <laughs> Take a tip from your wingman, Brucey. The ladies hate it when you brood over the ex you failed to save. 